Why don't you go and look around the castle grounds? You haven't seen it yet. Mr. Wakey, it's horrible. I like sitting here with you, looking at the lake. It's not the lake, love. That's the sea. That's what I meant, miss. Miss, wouldn't it be crazy if you had something like this around us? Then the kids wouldn't get into trouble. They'd have someone like this play, would they? Miss, wouldn't have not like this around our way, could we, miss? Why not? Because then you'd act them, wouldn't we? No, we wouldn't. Well, do you know, that's why we never have nothing nice around our way. Because smash it up. The copy news, that's so. Why should you waste the money? They'd give things if we looked after them. But we don't look after them, do we? Hey, miss. No, when I think about it, hey, miss. Go on, John, what do you think? Miss, if all this belonged to us, miss, and it was ours, not the copies, but ours, well, we wouldn't let no one wreck it, would we, miss? We'd defend it. Right, you two. Off. Go on, move. Say where? Anywhere, girl, just move. I want to speak to Mrs. K. Oh, come on, then. I was talking to those children. Yes, and I'm talking to you, Mrs. Gay. It's got to stop this, has. What has? What has? Can't you see what's going on? It's a shambles, the whole ill-organised affair. Look what they did at the zoo. Just look at them here. They just left to race and chase and play havoc. God knows what the castle authorities must think. Look, when you bring children like ours into this sort of environment, you can't afford to just let them go free. They're just like town dogs let off the leash in the country. My God, for some of them, it's, a, it's the first time they've been further than Birkenhead. I know. And I was just thinking, it's a shame really, isn't it, eh? You know, we bring them to a crumbling pile of bricks and mortar, and they think they're in the fields of heaven. You are on their side, aren't you? Absolutely, Mr Briggs, absolutely. Look, all I want to know from you is what you're going to do about this chaos. Well, I'd suggest if you want the chaos stopping, you'd better stop seeing it as chaos. All right, the headmaster asked you to come along, but can't you just relax? There's no point in pretending that a day out to Wales is going to furnish them with the education they should have had long ago. It's too late for them. Most of them were rejects on the day they were born, Mr Briggs. We're not going to solve anything today. Can't we just give them a good day out? At least we could try and do that. Well, that's, a, that's a fine attitude, isn't it? That's a fine attitude for a member of the teaching profession well, to have. Well, what's your alternative, eh? Do you really think there's any point in pretending? Even if you cared. Do you really think you could educate these kids? My remedial kids? Because you're a fool if you do. You won't educate them because nobody wants them educating. Listen, Mrs. Kate, no, don't you... you listen, Mr. Briggs. If these kids and all the others like them had real learning, the factories of England would empty overnight. And don't you try and tell me that those kids that, given the choice, would still stand on production lines and empty bins. Because that's the biggest myth of all. Give them education. Choice. They'd want what we've got, what the best off have got. And that's why you won't educate them, Mr Briggs. You're in a job that's designed to fail, because no matter what the rest of us want, the factories of England must have their fodder. And well, I suppose that's the sort of stuff you've been pumping into their minds, is it? You really think they'd understand? Listen, I'm not going to spend any more time arguing with you. You may have organised this visit but I'm the one who's been sent by the headmaster to supervise. Now, either you take control of the children in your charge, or I'll be forced to abandon the visit and order everyone home. Well, that's your decision. But I'm not going to let you prevent the kids from having some fun. If you want to abandon this visit, you better just start walking, because we are not going home. We're going down to the beach. The beach? Can't come all the way to the seaside and not go down to the beach.